New CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 practice tests and exams have just been launched on Udemy. That's today's topic. I'm David Staples, and that's coming right up. So the new CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 launches three days from now. Today is November 4th uh, when I'm recording this, and the new exam comes out November 7th. So I wanted to go ahead and get some practice questions out there for those who are planning on taking the new version of the exam here in just a few days. I just launched them on Udemy at the lowest price they'd let me offer them for. Uh, just try and help as many people as possible without completely just giving it away. In fact, for the first 31 days, I'm also giving you a coupon code that will be in the description as part of the link. I'll also put it right here on the screen for you. It's just first 31 days. Days, super simple and easy. Uh, it allows me to drop $7 off the price down to the lowest they'd let me offer as a promotion, which is $12.99. For those who may not be familiar with my background, I've written thousands of practice questions for college courseware vendors. So some of your final exams or midterms or uh, pop quizzes, they might have actually been written by me. But these, I'm coming straight to you guys via Udemy. So I've broken the questions down into five separate domains, uh, which are the domains specified by the CompTIA Security Plus objectives. Uh, so they are domain one is general security concepts. Domain two is threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations. Domain three is security architecture. Domain four is security operations. And domain number five is security program management and oversight. Uh, domain four is worth the most as far as the scoring goes. That's 28% of your overall score from the exam. So that's where the most questions are in these practice tests. And that will help you identify perhaps where some of your weaknesses are. Now these are not designed to make you put your English skills to the test. They're very basic just to identify the simple foundational concepts that you may not necessarily know. If you don't know what that concept is, you can't very well apply it to whatever that situation is. So if you've got any questions or you're looking for training, I am a CompTIA technical trainer as well as a Microsoft certified trainer and hold other sorts of certifications as well. Uh, a bit over 30 the last time I counted, it might even be over 40 at this point, including some of the professional level AWS certifications. And let's go ahead and give you a preview of what you might expect to see in these practice questions. So Caleb has just received an alert from the email scanning system about a user sending video file attachments to an email address outside of the organization. Which of the following might he be suspicious of? Is that a Trojan, a logic bomb, steganography, or ransomware? So if you need to pause and think about this for a moment, do so now. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and answer the question here together. So when we are looking at these terms, we know that A, B, and D are all types of malware, uh, whereas C, steganography, is a form of obfuscation where essentially you can hide certain types of data within another file, uh, such as a video file, an audio file, or a picture file, something along those lines. And it should be extremely difficult, if not nearly impossible, to detect that there is any sort of confidential or proprietary information being hidden within that file uh, as it's being transmitted out through the network. The, the main way to tell that there has been a change typically is going to be that you know, the file size is going to be different. The hash of the file uh, is going to be different. So if you're interested in more CompTIA Security Plus SY0701 practice questions just like these, uh, be sure to check out the link to that Udemy course or the Udemy practice test down below. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, certainly feel free to leave those in the comments. Be sure to stay tuned to future videos. One way to do that is to click on that like button and subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out with the algorithm. But until that next video, you guys take care. We'll see you soon.